जय राधा माधव कुंज जय
कृष्णा कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा कुंज बिहारी हरे हरे ज्ञातिरांध से ज्ञानाजनाशलाखया चक्षुरोन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ण स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूपा कदा मह्यम ददा स्वादाक वंदेहम श्रीगुर श्रीयुतापदकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णवांश श्रीपम सागर जाता सह गण रघुनाथन तम सजीव साधवैत सवधूत परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधा कृष्णा पादान सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखा विता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्फते गोपेशा गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचना गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछाकलपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुब पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमा ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीतिनामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पाश्चातिदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्णा चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैता गदाधरा श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू द संडे फीस्ट प्रोग्राम टू नाइट सो वेरी हैप्पी टू बी विद ऑल ऑफ यू टू नाइट इज देर एनी वन हु इज कमिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ओके वेलकम हरे कृष्णा व्हाट आर योर नेम्स रविंदर ओके नाइस 
you can collect a small gift or book after you before you leave so you can um, so tomorrow is what janmashtami it's one of the most important festivals you know in india we have holiday on janmashtami <laughs> uh, and uh, Srila Prabhupada, he brought Janmashtami from India to all over the world. You know, 50 years, 55 years, from 1965 when Srila Prabhupada came to 2024. And uh, Srila Prabhupada established these temples all over the world. Here we have New Govardhan Temple where Shishi Radha Girdhari are the presiding deities. Shishi Gaur Nitai, Jagannath, Baldev, Subhadra. And uh, in Vrindavan, we have so many Radha Krishna temples, but there was no Krishna Balram temple. So Srila Prabhupada established the Krishna Balram temple in Raman Reti. How many of you been there in Vrindavan temple? Nice. So I was watching a video of uh, Vrindavan temple, and I saw that Balram is resting one of his hands on Krishna. And Krishna is playing flute with his right hand. And uh, other hand is like this. So Krishna is like in this posture. And here you see Shishi Radha Giridhari, you know, in the Govardhan Leela, uh, Giridhari is holding the whole mountain on one of his pinky fingers of his left hand. And he's playing the flute with the other hand. So we have, uh, so the flute sound was something like this. But not exactly, <laughs> something. It's a little longer. <laughs> And the sound of Krishna's flute was so much full of compassion and love that it inundated the hearts of all the gopis, the gopas, the cowherd boys, the girls, the mothers, Yashoda, Nanda, everybody. You know, it gave them so much satisfaction and love. We are also looking for that love, but in so many different places, you know, in temporary things, which can only satisfy our body, our mind, or the senses, but it cannot really touch our heart. But when we connect to the supreme, Reservoir of pleasure, Krishna, then we can actually get that happiness that we are longing for. The reason is because we are part and parcel of Krishna, Sachidananda Vigraha. You know, the, our soul has those qualities, you know, of what Krishna is, has in full, in excessive quantity. Just like the Pacific Ocean, it has so much of water, but one drop of water, if you take out from it, it would still be salty. It would still have the same pH level alkaline or acidic, whatever it is, it will be actually alkaline. And, but the quantity of the drop is so small, but the quantity of the ocean is so big. So we are, again, like the drop of water, we are the part and parcel of Krishna, the Atma. And the soul never takes birth or dies. Na jayate mrite ve kadachin. Vasham si jidnani yatha ve haya. It changes body just as the, as just as you change the clothes which are worn out. So today evening we went for a very nice uh, Harinam with uh, Guru Krishna Prabhu. It was very nice. We did chanting and did Harinam and everybody was listening so peacefully. It was amazing. Thank you for that, Prabhu. It was amazing. So today we will discuss on Krishna's birth. Tomorrow, as we know, is Janmashtami. And uh, next day is Srila Prabhupada's appearance day, which is Nandotsav. So we are going to discuss some introduction about Janmashtami here. So I want to thank Gaurang Darshan Prabhu from Govardhan Eco Village. I got the slides from him. I'll, I'll skip few slides here. Yes. So I want to start from here. So basically what happened is, in this picture if you see, there were too many atrocities on Mother Earth. And Mother Earth took the shape of a cow, you know. And along with demigods and Lord Brahma, 
she went to the Shirodakshai Ocean to the Lord to pray that, please help me. There are so many difficulties that are there. Everybody is exploiting the earth. You know, there is uh, no compassion. They are killing. There is so much de demoniac rule. So they went to the ocean to the Lord. And the Lord, uh, through Brahmaji, he said that, OK, I will appear. I will appear on the earth to what is the reason why Krishna appears? Paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha dushkritam dharma samsthap naradhe sambhavami yoga yoga. So to establish religion, to remove the miscreants, and to exchange love with the devotees, to the sadhus. So as you can see, through Brahmaji, the Lord gave this message that I'll be appearing on earth. And Lord Krishna appears once in a day of Lord Brahma. And one day of Brahma is very long. Very, very long. Lord Brahma's life is 311 trillion years and 40 billion years. So imagine. And he lives for 100 years. So imagine how long is Brahma's one day. And we are very fortunate to have been born at this time, which is like 5,000 years before Krishna took birth. So in trance, Brahmaji hears from Lord Vishnu. And Lord knows of Earth's condition. And he says, you know, all of you, like the demigods, you appear in the dynasty of Yadu and Vrishni. As we all know, Lord Krishna appeared in that same dynasty, Yadu dynasty. And Brahmaji conveys Lord's orders here. And they also said that Shankarshan or Baladev will also appear. And then the very famous scene of Kamsa taking his sister Devaki on the chariot after her marriage with Vasudev. So as we know that uh, Surasena was one of the king, and uh, Surasena's son was uh, Vasudev. And then we had Kamsa. Uh, so Kamsa's cousin sister was Devaki. And they got married. Vasudev and Devaki got married. And on the day of marriage, as you can see, how much is the dowry? 200 female assistants, 400 elephants, 10,000 horses, and 1,800 chariots. They were so rich. <laughs> so, and then Kamsa personally drove the chariot. Because it's a tradition, you know, especially if you, if you know about Indian traditions. The girl should not feel the separation from her family, so the brother generally accompanies her to the in-law's house. So he drove in a nice chariot both uh, his sister and brother-in-law. And then there was an unembodied voice from the sky that said, Kamsa, you foolish rash rascal. Eighth child of Devaki will kill you. So Kamsa was totally bewildered. There was no exchange because this is unembodied. He didn't know how to communicate back to that voice. Who, who is there? He didn't even knew. So <laughs> he was more scared. And he was so powerful. He was like, his arms were as strong as 10,000 elephants. And these elephants are not of today's age. It was of Dwapar Yuga. Those elephants are very, very strong. Today's elephant would be like in equal in strength to that time, you know, cat and dogs. So with his mighty arms, he lifted this sharp sword, and he was about to sever her head. And then obviously, Vasudev was there. Her husband was there. And uh, he tried to protect her. So Vasudev tries to pacify Kamsa. He didn't think, OK, let my wife get killed. I'll join the Brahmachari ashram. <laughs> One headache is gone. <laughs> He's not thinking like that. <laughs> Although it's the first day of marriage. <laughs> you know? So that is not renunciation, where I don't care for her. So he's not thinking like that. So he cared for, cared for her, and he knows that she is my responsibility. And Vasudev loved Devki, that she has been entrusted in his care by the Lord. So when two people get married, you know, they should understand that each of them are entrusted in their care by the Supreme Lord. 
and Ram and Hanuman also helped bring Sita, and it was such a serious business, you know, to protect Mother Sita. The whole fight of Ramayana was just to bring back Sita, and even Mahabharat, you know, the whole fight was one of the reasons were because the uh, Kuru's insulted Draupadi and the Pandavas then fought with them, right? So such is the importance of women, and uh, such an important lesson for. Uh, for us, how a husband and wife, most of us here are grihastha, I guess, 99%. You know, very less brahmacharis I can see here. So I <laughs> I'll speak two minutes about, you know, husband and wife relationship. So when husband and wife come together, the, m the mindset should be that the husband thinks that my wife has been given to me as a blessing from the Lord. And I should take care of her physically, give her physical comfort, nice home, nice whatever she wants physically, emotionally, appreciate her for what she does little or more, whatever she is doing, and spiritually, and provide her an environment where she can grow spiritually. So that are the responsibilities of a husband. And for the wife also the same thing. Wife gives the physical comfort to the husband by keeping the house clean and whatever physical comfort she can give. and then. Uh, emotionally by being with him in whatever he is doing by assisting him in his endeavors and then spiritually also following with him on the spiritual path or you know uh, being together on the same spiritual path or different but assisting each other having having love and uh, really good relationship between both of them so these are few things uh, that are there and being grateful for whatever is there because you know, there are always uh, fights, oh, you didn't do this, you said 20 years back something to me, <laughs> and you're still thinking about it, right? How is, how is that so important today? If, you know, because Krishna has given us such a nice opportunity that we are able to take this human birth and understand this spiritual knowledge. Krishna says, you know, Bahunam, uh, there are so many births that we have taken, millions and millions of birth. But this is the opportunity that we have got, so let us make use of this lifetime and engage in devotional service together. Make the best out of it instead of fighting for small things. So yeah, these, uh, these are a few things. And then being very grateful for whatever is there. You know, there, was, there will always be some um, shortcoming. There will always be something, oh, I could have done that thing. I could have studied that or I could have done that or this. But that will always be there, you know. So even if you take next birth and in your youth you think, oh, in your youth you just forget you know, all the important things and, and then later you think, oh, I, I should have done that in my youth. And again you take birth and again the cycle goes and on and on and on. So it is better to be grateful now for whatever we have and whatever situation we are in and take shelter of Krishna by chanting his holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So Vasudev tries to save his wife Devaki and he uses three different methods. He uses Sam, he uses Bhed and Nyaya. So we'll see what it is. So there are five different types of Sam that is described in Srimad Bhagavatam. So he first glorifies Kamsa, Vasudev. Oh, you are great, you are very nice. And then he says, uh, even though she is the mother of your enemy, because she is a woman, by not killing her, you will gain the fame of following dharma. This Devaki is non-different from your daughter. Create feeling of generosity. So he uses these different types of uh, sama to convince Kamsa not to kill her. And then he uses bheda. He says, the fear of sinful act of killing sister on marriage. So you, get, you will get very sinful reactions. Don't kill her on today's date. And then avoiding family fight due to killing sister. You know, because there are two different families. And then he uses Nyaya. One who took birth is sure to die. So he says, see, anyways, that Akashwani unembodied voice said something to you. Anyways, you are going to die. So why, why do you care so much about it? Post-death, Jiva automatically receives another body due to karma. Anyways, you will get new bodies. Even if you are killed, that's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so he tries so many different ways that, you know, uh, don't, don't kill my wife. So he gives this example that 
just as a person takes steps from one position to another position similarly the soul also changes the body from one body to another body worm moves from one leaf to another he gives another example and he says in dreams we take many bodies for getting current position so one body to another it's just a dream and we are changing bodies is due to flickering mind luminaries reflected in oil water appears different so there are some different similes that he gives and he tries to pacify her to pacify him so uh and then he says why to be sinful only suffering in next life younger sister is like daughter deserves affection o deen vatsal but kamsa was a follower so if if somebody is demoniac you cannot like appease them by you know just by glorifying them or things like that so sam and bed couldn't affect him the first two methods couldn't affect him and then how did he convince him he said that i will hand over the sons of devaki because the son of devaki is going to kill you so why are you, why, why do you have enmity with uh, devaki so please release her and then kamsa agreed to it and then they have a first child devaki and vasudev had first child his name was kirtiman and they took the child to kamsa and he said oh i don't want this child take the take the child back i am only concerned with the eighth child because that's what the akashwani was so vasudev agreed but he couldn't trust the character of kamsa if somebody is demoniac if they promise you something don't trust it because they might change any time <laughs> right so now narad muni comes into picture narad muni bajaye veena radhika raman name so narad muni comes and he tries to convince kamsa that any of the eight sons could be vishnu why are you leaving them you kill every child so, vaishnavera kriya mudra bujena bujave so you cannot understand what the vaishnava so it seems like narad muni is you know doing something bad but later we will understand that it's correct uh, we'll tell the reason also so narad muni goes to kamsa and says that actually i was traveling because narad muni keeps traveling all over the space and he says i was traveling and i heard some demigods talking that there would be supreme personality of godhead lord krishna he will take birth and he is going to take birth to kill all the demons including you so and that child might be the cause of your death so there he gives like eight different reasons and all those things so and narad muni also says that in your previous life you were kala nemi and krishna actually killed you and now he will take birth again and he will kill you so kamsa got very much afraid <laughs> and he got a fear of material nature so shila prabhupad explains the commentary of vishwana chakravarti thakur that devaki represents bhakti or devotional service and kamsa represents the fear of material nature when somebody has fear of material nature what does what do they do they take shelter of krishna they do bhakti right so devotee takes shelter of bhakti from the fear of from the fear and in that process krishna is born so if you are fearful you take shelter of bhakti and then in that process krishna is actually born in our heart so so this after this first son obviously there are krishna kamsa kills the first son and the next six sons also he kills so these six sons are the sons of uh marichi six children which are the enemies of the mind what are the enemies of mind lust anger greed envy illusion right so all these are the enemies so these six children what do they represent they represent the enemies of the mind so one time what happened the past time of these six sons is that one time these six sons they went to perform austerity tapasya and uh, they did not inform their father kalnemi or grandfather hiranakashipu they did not inform him 
and they went to do tapasya or austerity and when haryana kashipu came to know about it he got very angry and upset with them he said i curse you that your father will kill you and kamsa actually was kalanemi so in the next birth kalanemi became kamsa and kamsa killed all these six sons so he caused them to be killed by the father so in order for krishna to appear so we know the seventh child was baladev eighth child was krishna so in order in our life for krishna to appear in our hearts we have to remove what lust anger greed envy illusion and before krishna takes birth who took birth who took birth baladev and baladev is represented by guru so when guru comes into our life then krishna will appear after that so first you kill the six enemies which are the six sons seven son is baladev which is guru and then eighth son is krishna then krishna appears in our heart such a beautiful correlation right so all these are acharyas are describing shrimad bhagavatam is describing all these things so so what happens that kamsa imprisons vasudev devki and kills all these six children and then the greedy kings kill even fathers brothers etc being selfish kamsa being envious of the yadus imprisons ugrasena he imprisons his own father so after that we know that uh, balram balram took birth as the seventh child of uh, devaki and when he took birth before he took birth krishna told yogmaya that uh, yogmaya you go to uh, yeah so krishna tells yogmaya that uh, seventh child will be sankarshan right which is balaram so you bring balaram to uh, gokul to rohini's womb rohini was actually already pregnant and uh, uh, so once you do this and then you will take birth as the daughter of yashoda so and then i'll take birth as the son of uh, devaki so when baladev was born he was transferred by yogmaya from the womb of devaki to the womb of rohini rohini is the eternal mother of balaram ji and actually uh, rohini got a dream at night rohini saw that she had a mid- miscarriage and after that she immediately woke up and she saw yogmaya and yogmaya said don't worry i have transferred baladev to your womb who is sankarshan sankarshan means who connects two families because nand baba and vasudev were very good friends so his name is sankarshan and shrimad bhagavatam explains that his name will also be rama because he gives pleasure to everyone and balaram because he has so much of strength so balaram actually took birth as the son of rohini she is his eternal mother and after that as we know uh, lord krishna is going to appear so there are lot of demigods who are praying for lord krishna in the womb so and before that atrocities of kamsa with help of various demons kamsa persecuted the yadus yadus fled into another kingdoms like kurus panchalas kekayas etc some stayed and some served kamsa because kamsa became very angry so as we discussed after the six sons of devaki who was born balaram ji anant his other name is anant entered the womb and lord krishna gave this orders to yogmaya who is yogmaya durga devi what he said krishna said go to vraj transfer sankarshan into rohini's womb i'll appear as the son of devaki you appear as the daughter of yashoda ordinary humans will worship you with sacrifices to fulfill material desires rama sankarshan balbhadra order executed so just like i explained same thing is written here right we all know durga devi in north india we worship so much of durga devi we go to vaishno devi and so many different you know places are there so durga devi has a very important place even in this past time 
what are the effects of lord appearance in devki's womb devki appeared very effulgent very very beautiful and so much of brightness effulgence were coming out from her body that kamsa knew that now the eighth child is going to take birth from her womb who is krishna himself and he is going to kill me he was thinking i should kill her while she is pregnant but then he was thinking if i do like that you know that will not be good <laughs> what will everybody say like that so he didn't kill he thought she is a woman she is sister she is pregnant if i kill reputation opulence and life span will be diminished so even demons in those days they believed in scriptures little bit you know they, they understood they, they, they were fearful of the scriptures and he said i will suffer in this life and next life i'll go to hell kamsa decided to wait and all, at all times he thought about the lord in fear and then there is so much of garbhastuti there are so many prayers i won't go into the prayers uh, into too much detail but uh, there are so many details and then finally the birth of krishna happens but before this a small past time before krishna is going to born uh, be born then nanda and yashoda in gokul they were not having children for a very long time and they were praying to the lord please you know give us a child they were praying from their heart and and one day they got a vision of a beautiful child very very beautiful child and uh, and all the community that was surrounding them they were praying for them and they had all the love and trust this is vaishnav community when if one person is in pain then the whole community comes together to help them so when we have that relationship in that mood in that mindset krishna actually manifest krishna under krishna likes that cooperation and when krishna manifest there then all others who are looking at that they get attracted to krishna and they also join the community if you see a community that is not cooperating and fighting would you join that community no right so that was a loving community in gokul and one day a old brahmin lady came there in gokul and uh, and all the brajwasis welcomed her and she had a grandson with her his name was madhumangal and she said that i am the mother of sandipuri muni who is sandipuri muni krishna's teacher right guru he studied in sandeepni muni ashram so she said puranmasi her name was puranmasi old lady she said my son is uh sandeepni muni and my daughter in law is sumukhi and this is their son madhumangal and my guru is narad muni and she said i am going to give you a blessing that you will have a son who will give you so much joy to everybody and then they built her a nice hut near the yamuna and you know she was living there and everybody was so happy so um so vasudev as we know had so many wives second wife was rohini i think vasudev had 18 wives you know and he had sent all of them to different places from the fear of kamsa and one of the wife uh Uh, rohini was staying with nand maharaj and yashoda so they were very close very thick friends so as we know that krishna uh, krishna called yogmaya and gave the instruction shankarshan let's so now let's see about the uh, birth of lord krishna so all the auspiciousness of krishna's appearance are described in bhagavatam what are the auspiciousness the whole universe was surcharged with goodness beauty and peace constellation of rohini rohini nakshatra right the sun the moon were very peaceful all directions are peaceful star twinkled in the cloudless sky the earth seemed all auspicious rivers flowed with clear water trees and plants full of flowers cuckoos and bees chanted in sweet voices a pure aromatic breeze began to flow yagnik fires burned undisturbed so beautiful and then lord krishna appeared as a four handed in the four handed form with shankar chakra gada and padma with conch shell disc lotus and club and he had a beautiful yellow garment and he had this helmet and a kostub jewel and a shrivatsa sign on his chest and a beautiful rose a uh, beautiful uh, garland and he appeared with this effulgence you know to um vasudev and dev ki in the jail so krishna appeared in the jail in so much of darkness it was a lockdown so 
whether it was COVID-19 or whether it is wars is going on in so many parts of the world, you know, Krishna can still appear in that place if, if we have that consciousness, if we can remember Krishna during those difficult times or whatever challenges in life we are going through. You know, if we have that faith, we have conviction. Krishna has come here, you know, in so many different phase, ways in form of Srimad Bhagavatam, chanting the holy names of the Lord, association of devotees, prasad, so many different ways Krishna is there. So it doesn't matter whatever situation we are, we, we are in. So the Lord appears like full moon in night from Devaki. And uh, Vasudev's wonder, jubilation and celebration. So Vasudev actually mentally donated thousands of cows. You know, when you get some, when a child is born or something nice happens, you want to just, you know, give some charity. So Vasudev gave mentally so many because he was in the jail. And then Vasudev is praying to Lord Krishna. And he said, you never entered Vas Devaki's womb. You existed there already. So how did actually Krishna took birth? Krishna took birth from the mind of Vasudev. He went to the mind of Devaki. He went to the mind of Devaki. And uh, and then to the, from, to the heart of Devaki, and then to the womb. Srila Prabhupada explains in the purport that this transfer from mind of Devaki to Vasudev was initiation, like Diksha, like Guru gives Diksha. So it was like that process. And it, Krishna was not born like, like how we are born, you know. He was born through the mind like that, that and he appeared in the Chatur Puja. How many of us had kids who were with four hands, you know. It's, so Krishna is not ordinary. Janma karma chame divyam. So Krishna's birth and activities are divya, transcendental. Many people say, oh, Krishna is just an ordinary man. He, he had mystic powers or you know, some siddhis. Duryodhan used to think like that. Even Krishna showed his Virat Rupa to Duryodhan, but he, he, he thought he's just a mystic. He's not God. So Vasudev is praying. All the modes are under your control. You, uh, con you assume different forms. You appear to kill miscreants and protect the world. Kamsa will come to kill you. So as a parent, they are fearful that, you know, you have come in this form. Kamsa will understand that you have come to kill him and he will kill you. So they are having that vatsalya bhav, that parental affection towards their child. And therefore, Devaki and Vasudev says, why don't you become a little baby child? So that Kamsa cannot uh, see you and we'll hide you somewhere. So, so much of love is there. Because in the previous birth, birth Devaki and Vasudev were Prishni and Sutapa, they performed tapasya for thousands of years. And because of their tapasya, they were, they were blessed that they will have Krishna as their child. And then Devaki prays to Krishna that everything emanates from you. After annihilation, you come alone, alone remain. Creation works under your control. And Jiva is fearful of death, sleep peacefully under your shelter. Give us protection from the fear of Kamsa. She is praying like that. And uh, Devki is in anxiety that uh, please draw this form and and then ba basically he, she says that you become a small baby child. That's what she says. And then you were Sutapa and Prishni. So Lord now speaks to Vasudev and Devaki that you did so much tapasya for 12,000 years. And then finally what happens? Lord transforms into a small child Gopal. Right? So, and then the next story all of us know what happens. Everybody falls asleep. Yoga Nidra. Krishna through his Yoga Nidra, all the guards, security guards and everybody around in the kingdom, they fell asleep. And then Vasudev takes little Krishna, Gopal Krishna in his arms and crosses the Yamuna and goes where? Gokul. And, uh, and when he goes to Gokul, he goes to the house of his friend Ananda Maharaj. And there he replaces the child born from Yashoda who was a girl. Right? 
replaces that girl with Gopal Krishna. And it is described by our Acharyas that when Krishna takes birth in the jail in, with Vasudev and Devki, same time another Krishna, Yashoda Nanda Nandan Krishna also takes birth in Gokul. And when, Nand, and when Vasudev brings this Krishna from Mathura to Gokul, these two Krishnas, there were another, another Krishna there, so these two Krishna merge into one Krishna. Vasudev Krishna and Nandandan Krishna merges into one Krishna. And then he brings uh, the girl, which is Yogmaya, back to Mathura. Yes, Yashoda Mai, when she was asleep, she only knew she has one child. She didn't knew whether it was girl or boy. She, you know, she was so much in pain. She didn't knew. She only had one child, but when Krishna was born in Mathura, at the same time, one child was born here also. So it was, actually she knew one child, but now two child appeared here and then they merged into one. And then uh, Vasudev took the girl, Yogamaya, back to Mathura. And then once he, were, he was back, what happened is, so now you see Vasudev exchanges babies. So she's sleeping, she doesn't know what's happening. She doesn't even know that whether I gave birth to a boy or a girl. And then once he's back, Vasudev is back with Yogamaya, again all the chain and shackles he puts together and everybody, all the guards are there and you know they, 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 they see that okay, one baby is born and they inform Kamsa and Kamsa immediately wants to kill that baby. Right, he, he started performing atrocities. And every time what he will do, he'll hold the baby with the leg and smash the head on the rock. That's how he'll kill all these babies. That's how he'll murder them. And as soon as Kamsa picked this baby through the legs and tried to smash, he immediately went into the air and said, we'll see that what she said. So. Durga Devi, so as you see the picture of Durga Devi, she has eight arms holding bow, trident, arrows, shield, sword, conch shell, disc and club. Durga Devi ki jai. So she's, she appears and she, she announces that Kamsa, Lord who is going to kill you is already born. Why are you doing so many atrocities on Vasudev and uh, Devaki? She says like that. And there was Kamsa's regretful talks with Devaki and Vasudev. You know, then he starts talking to them. So what are the talks? That I am uh, like a man-eater, forsaken relatives, providence lies. So many things he's regretful because now he knows that the child has gone somewhere else. He's like, he don't know what to do now. He's so confused. And what he does, he announces to all his demon friends, Trinavrata, Putana, Shakata Sura, you know, <laughs> whatever you have, Pralamba Sura, so very well, that go and kill all the children who are less than 10 days or two weeks, less than two weeks old. And, uh, and yeah, so many orders he gives there. And then again, there are so many conversations there which are, which are, uh, which are happening, so I'll, I'll close this here now. So basically from this we have just few minutes. So we, we can understand from this past time that Krishna was born in a dark place, in a jail. And Krishna was born in a dark place to give us light, give light to everybody. And it is said in the scriptures, Krishna Surya Sama Maya Haya Andhikar. Krishna is like the sun and the Maya material uh, modes and nature is like Andhikar or darkness. And there is no material situation which can actually impede us from our spiritual progress. Whatever we have or whatever we don't have cannot impede our spiritual progress. Whatever situation we, we have, Krishna is there for us. You know, Krishna came for Gajendra, Krishna came for Draupadi, Krishna came for so many devotees, Prahlad, Dhruva, and Krishna is here, Krishna has come here also. Krishna has come in the form of his holy names, even in Kali Yuga. Kali Kale Nam Rupe Krishna Avatara. So when we are chanting the holy names, Krishna is there for us. And to treasure the association of devotees in whichever situation 
we are in, whether good situation or bad. So there are so many bhajans that our acharyas have written. Vipade sampade jivane marad. Whether I am in happiness or I am in distress, whether in birth or death, my dear Lord, you know, let me always remember you. And not to expect things to go our way. You know, many times things will not go as we want them to go because uh, this material world, you know, there will always be challenges. Srila Prabhupada says, a Vaishnav expects difficulties at every moment. It looks like a very pessimistic statement, but actually that is the reality. You know? So, so we take this knowledge and seek shelter of Krishna's name by sincerely doing our bhajan. And uh, we can celebrate Janmashtami even today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Any day we can celebrate. And as long as you know, Krishna can take birth in our heart by taking shelter of these things that we discussed. And the most important, as we know, is sincerely taking shelter of Krishna in whatever difficulty, situation, good or bad we are in, by chanting the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. Because eventually one day we are going to lose everything. Whatever we have, and everything will be taken away from us. So, so we should understand that thing and with that, consciousness, we take shelter of Krishna and, uh, you know, uh, be happy in that way. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Harinam Sankirtan ki jai, Ananta Koti Vaishnavrind ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Giridhari ki jai. Anybody has any comments or questions? Yes. I have a question. Yes, Prabhuji. I, I may be wrong, but I, but when, Vasu, when, when Vasudev took it, Krishna to um, uh, to Vrindavan and brought back the little girl who had Maya, been, yeah. yeah. Now, had he been informed about the whole plan? Who? Vasudev. I mean, he was just told to go and take the, 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 the baby who was born from, from Yashoda and bring her back here, back, back to the jail, right, as far as I remember. I'm just asking because w if you think about it, it's quite a departure. I mean, not only did he break his promise, but he saw what Kamsa did to the, uh, the previous uh, six children. Mm -hmm. And uh, the seventh was a miscarriage. He thought that was Balaram, of course. But he was bringing this little, little girl back to be slain. So he was willing to do that in order to save his son? Or did he know that, she was gonna, she, that there's no way that Kamsa could kill her? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words, such a departure, he, you know, he, he was, he, the reason why he was able to do it at first because he had a tremendous reputation of being true to his, to his name, to, to his word, keeping his word. And he did that, six children, six children, six children. Yes. But then the last one, he, he, he didn't. He, 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 he took the child away and he, he broke his promise and he brought this poor girl back to be yes. smashed. It had to be smashed because it didn't happen that way. Yes. But I'm just thinking what a... What yeah. a Actually, Srila Prabhupada explains this um, in the Bhagavata. Even there is one verse where it is said that in order to protect your own child, if he has to, you know, maybe do this thing, not keep the promise, then it is okay. I think there is one verse in the 10th canto, 5th chapter, which speaks about that. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, turn it on. There is a button. You can turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. Keep holding it for one, two seconds. Yeah. yeah, the night when Krishna was born, there was actually a heavenly voice that uh, told Vasudev that we will be now releasing your shackles because he was in shackles when they were in the prison. So when the child was born, the heavenly voice said that at this point we are going to release you of your shackles and you will return, go bring the girl and don't worry about the child because she's Yogmaya. She's not going to die. So she is going to take his place, but she will get Mukti the minute he tries to throw her away. 
So this was a plan that was given by a divinely grace, and that's why the doors actually opened, because they were deep in prison, everything was locked, automatically all the doors opened, and he was able to make that journey back. Yes, yes, it is in the Bhagavad Gita, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have Srimad Bhagavatam set? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> if Dravida Prabhu doesn't know the answer, I mean, I, I don't know the answer. <laughs> Prabhu is reading for 50 years. <laughs> I'm not capable of answering. Yes, she has a question. I think somebody else. In the meeting, uh, like in the crossing of the children, did the children get to meet each other? Because you said they, there's two that merged. Yes, and yes. Oh, is that the two that merged or no? There were two other that merged Could, to form one child. Yeah, so there were two separate separate childs. Yes. One was the Vasudev Krishna, one was the Yashoda Nandan Nandan Krishna. So they merged into one Krishna. And then did they go back to the jail? No, they didn't back, back, went back to the jail. They no. were still in Gokul. Oh, OK. Yeah. Only the girl came back to the jail. So she's asking what happened to the soul when two children merged together. So Krishna is the source of all incarnation. It's not like how Krishna didn't take birth like how we take birth, right? Krishna's activities are transcendental. So how that took place and that is very transcendental. So yeah. Krishna, yeah. Yeah. Is that in Bhagasi? When, whenever you. So he shows his form as a Vishnu. Yeah. And here Krishna is one of the beam of light to Yashoda Mata. So that's why these two merge. Vishnu and Krishna merge. And this is the only birth in this avatar where Vishnu and Krishna. The main lesson from my lecture was to take shelter of Krishna and chant the holy names. <laughs> because if we. <laughs> how many of you took that lesson? That is the most important part. <laughs> To be grateful, and when you are grateful, you are happy to take shelter of the holy name. You know, and uh, in whatever situation we are in, we continue with our devotional life. So these were two, three lessons. Krishna is born in the darkness. We focus towards light. There are so many, so much darkness, difficulties will be there in our life. But are we focusing on that darkness, or are we focusing towards the light? These are some of the lessons we should take on Janmashtami, you know. Yes, all this knowledge is important. We understand the birth and activities of Krishna. But what is Krishna trying to teach us through these? That is very deep. And if we are able to understand that, then we have celebrated Janmashtami. Janmashtami can be today, tomorrow, six months later. Krishna has to take birth from our heart. And when we take shelter of the holy name and Srimad Bhagavatam, then there is Janmashtami. Obviously, otherwise Janmashtami is also tomorrow. So, <laughs> okay, so seven o'clock. So, thank you very much. Shila Prabhupada ki jai. Hare Krishna.